Hello, my name is Ann Taylor, and I'm going to talk a few minutes about heart math and the inner balance and how to set up the device once you receive it. So there are two parts if you order heart math inner balance. Uh, there is the sensor, the part that you physically get from heart math company. Um, available on the link below. My name is Ann Taylor. And, and you there's an app that's read free. about heart math. So the first and thing the you want to do is to download measure your heart rate app. variability biofeedback, which and I have done. You simply heart go math, to what is the, that? What does that mean? So you, this morning, you I'm just going to take a few minutes in inner to show you and you'll what comes with the inner balance software, which is free, as I mentioned. The next step is to actually get the sensor that connects. So there's two types of inner balance sensors. One with a wire that goes from your ear into the device or a Bluetooth, which I recommend because the um, products are changing their connectors periodically. And the one with the Bluetooth works with either the iPhone or the Android. So there's more flexibility. I've been using HeartMath uh, Inner Balance and the product before that even for years. So I have the older type. And as a, I'm a licensed HeartMath coach. And so I'm going to give you some pointers uh, along the way here. So you simply just open up the box. And what you'll find is the main thing is the sensor. This clips onto your earlobe. And so the first thing you want to do is if you have earrings on, make sure they're either not in the way, or I usually find I have to remove them. My earlobe is fairly small, and you simply clip on the, the sensor device. Now, I know that um, sometimes my clients will have trouble having the pulse rate being picked up by the the app. So just make sure that your ear is warm. And if, for those of you who may have had plastic surgery, there may be some nerves that have been interrupted. So there's also a finger sensor options. So at any rate, you just plug in the sensor. And as I mentioned, the Bluetooth, you would connect your device the normal way you would any other Bluetooth you'll come to an opening screen and go ahead and hit the little gear, which will bring up a menu called settings. Most of you are pro probably familiar with a settings menu. The first thing you wanna check is that your challenge level is set to number one if you're just starting out with this device. And so I have found that a lot of my yoga practitioners, they're, they're into the green zone immediately. And so this is not going to be so much about how to actually get into heart coherence. We'll cover that in other sessions. It's basically the things to do to set up your device. You will also be able to select an image. There's several things you can look at. Um, this is the image that comes the first thing you see. And it's basically just a very serene, the green, you can see what state you're in. Green is high heart coherence. The blue is medium. And red, which is not shown here, would be low. Um, I typically keep my eyes closed when I practice. But when you're new and starting out, it might be nice to have something to look at. You have the ability to upload a photo of something that warms your heart. There's a beautiful image that comes with the program, but you know, what can I say? My dog, Portia. And so there's another mode, which I actually, I'll put a screenshot up. I actually prefer the graphs so that I know exactly what level of coherence I'm at. So those are the starting points. Once you set your, um, once you set up your challenge level, the next thing you might want to do is select the breath pacer. 
getting into heart coherence really is tied to the breath. So by doing certain breathing techniques, you'll be able to increase your heart coherence very quickly. And again, to find out, well, what is heart coherence? Uh, check the blog posts and I'll link some below so you can see. And just start playing with it. Just the goal is to get from red, which you see at the bottom, through the blue and into the green. To get started, you simply hit the start button. The sensor will start communicating the heart rate to the device and off you go. So at that point, either close your eyes, look at your favorite picture. And so if there's any questions, don't hesitate me to contact me either by email or in the, the chat below, the comment field below or on the contact form. I recommend that you start with five minutes, maybe twice a day. I like to do 11 minutes because I'm into the 11 minute minutes. And, but just start a practice, start five, just start slowly, build up if you like, and you'll watch your coherence rise. And other videos will explain more about that. Thank you and let me know if you have questions and I'll do my best to answer them.